Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 70 of chapter 6. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of force at pins B and pin C. The suspended cylinder has a mass of 75 kg. Looking at the problem, we can identify that member AB is a two-force member. So a two-force member, it means that it has only forces being applied at the two points. A point B and a point A. So one of the conditions of a two-force member is that the two forces has to be equal, opposite direction, and collinear. That means that our forces have to be FB here, collinear with the other point. I call it FB as well. Because in any other scenario, we are not going to have any equilibrium. Let's assume that I draw my forces here. I call this FB and here FB. That is true that I satisfy summation of forces in X and summation of forces in Y equals zero, but this member is gonna rotate. There is no summation of moment would be zero. So that's why we have to observe the collinear condition. So our member would be in an equilibrium. So identifying that the member is in is a two force member that would simplify our equations. So now I'm gonna draw the free body diagram for member uh, BC. At C I have two reaction forces CX and CY. At the B I have the reaction of force B FB. And here I have the pulley. I'm not gonna open up the pulley. I'm just gonna keep the pulley on my member. I have a tension here and a tension here. If I draw the free body diagram of this cylinder, I can find the tension. So tension, and I have the weight, which is 75 times 9.81, will give me 735.75 Newton. So now I can write the value for tension in my free body diagram. Looking at the free body diagram, I have three unknowns, six CX, CY, and FB, and in 2D equilibrium, I can write three equilibrium equations. So I can write the moment equation um, and summation of forces in X and Y. Let's write the dimensions to make it easier for us in writing our equations. This is two meter. This distance to the center is 0.5, and the center of the pulley is 0.3, all dimensions in meter. So I write summation of moment, about point C equals zero, counterclockwise to be positive. My force FB has two components. The horizontal component is not gonna create any moment because it's going through point C. The vertical component is gonna create a negative moment because it would be clockwise and FB is a 4-3 triangle. So if I draw it here, FB would have 4-3-5 triangle for its dimension. It is the same as if you're gonna observe the actual dimension is 2, 1.5, 2.5, but it's easier to use a similar triangle of 4-3-5. Summation of moment about point C, creating a clockwise, so it would be negative. The force is FB, only the vertical component, so three over five, and then multiplied by the moment arm would be two. Then I have the force of tension. Uh, this tension up here is creating a counter clockwise moment, so it would be positive, and the moment arm is 0 0.3. So positive 735.7, Five, the moment arm, point three. My other moment, or my other tension, is creating a negative moment because it's counterclockwise, and the moment arm would be two point eight. So negative seven thirty five point seven moment arm. I have two, I have point five, and I have the radius so point three. So the moment arm is two point eight meter equals zero. So I have one unknown that gives me the value for FB. 
which is negative 153.81 sorry 1532.81 and the value that I found is negative that means that the direction I assumed is incorrect is the opposite but we are going to keep the direction in the free body diagram so now that I have the value for uh, FB, I can write summation of forces in X and summation of forces in Y to find CX and CY. So I have CX minus 4 over 5 gives me the vertical, the horizontal component of force B. Uh, then I have negative tension equals 0. I can replace these values. I know the values. This is 735.75. And FP is a negative value. So FP, that's the value that we found for FP. So technically CX plus uh, the 4 over 5. So CX will be negative 490.5 newton. Negative value indicates the direction we assumed is incorrect. Summation of forces in Y, CY minus 3 over 5 fb minus t equals 0 if i replace the value i get negative 183.9 newt so i found cx cy and fb so now that i have the value for fb here is the problem is asking for components for FB so if I want to I have the dimensions I can find the X and Y component the horizontal and vertical component of FB so I write it here BX the magnitude four over five dy 3 over 5 and there are positive values so here the, the value that we found for fp here it was a negative value so the actual value here would be positive 